5 seconds to go. Start. The same came to be rejected by orders dated 23rd January 2020 and 6th March 2020. The accused had also preferred a bail application under section 439 of the CRPC which was rejected by the additional sessions judge number 5 Jaipur Metropolitan by order dated 12th March 2020 having regard to the gravity of the offences alleged against the accused. The respondent accused preferred another bail application before the High Court and by the impugned order dated 7th May 2020, the High Court has enlarged him on bail. Being aggrieved by the grant of bail to the respondent accused, the informant appellant has preferred the instant appeal before this court. We have heard Shri Bansad R, Learned Senior Counsel for the Appellant and Shri Aditya Kumar Chaudhary, Learned Counsel for Respondent Accused and have perused the material on record. Learned Senior Counsel for the Appellant submitted that the deceased had been elected in 2015 as the Deputy Sarpanch, that he was elected to such post despite opposition from the accused and his family, that the family of the accused exercised significant influence in the village and were trying to dissuade the deceased from contesting the election to the post of Sarpanch to be held in February 2020. Owing to such political enmity, the respondent accused along with his brothers had gone to the appellant's house in the morning on 8 December 2019 and abused the deceased and later on the same day the deceased was killed. According to the appellant, the deceased was suffering from 54 percent permanent physical impairment of both his legs and had therefore been overpowered by the respondent accused who had pinned him to the ground, sat on his chest and throttled his neck resulting in his death. Further, it was urged that the High Court has not exercised its discretion judiciously in granting bail to the respondent accused, that the High Court has not taken into consideration the gravity of the offence alleged and the grave manner in which the offence was committed against a person incapable of defending himself owing to physical impairment. It was submitted that the factum of previous enmity between the family of the accused and the deceased has not been taken into consideration by the High Court in the context of the allegations against the accused with regard to the grant of bail. That the possibility of respondent accused, a person exercising high political influence in village absconding or threatening the witnesses or the family of the deceased thereby having a bearing on the trial if released on bail could not be ruled out. That the police were initially reluctant to even register an FIR against the respondent accused. In fact, the accused was arrested by the police on 10th December 2019 only as a result of the protest dharna carried out by the family members of the deceased outside the police station. It was contended that the accused being a very influential person in the village could influence the course of trial by tampering with evidence and influencing the witnesses. According to the learned senior counsel for the appellant, the high court has not assigned reasons for grant of bail in the instant case wherein commission of a heinous crime has been alleged against the accused for which the accused if convicted could be sentenced to life imprisonment or even death penalty that the high court in a very cryptic order dehors any reasoning has granted bail to the respondent accused it was asked 
that the grant of bail to the respondent accused was contrary to the settled principles of law and the judgments of this court. It was submitted on behalf of the appellant who is the son of the deceased that this appeal may be allowed by setting aside the impugned order. In support of his submissions, learned senior counsel for the appellant placed reliance on certain decisions of this court which shall be referred to later. Per contra, Shri Aditya Kumar Chaudhary, learned counsel for respondent accused submitted that the impugned order does not suffer from any infirmity warranting any interference by this court, that the informant appellant has narrated an untrue version of events in order to falsely implicate the accused. Existence of past enmity between the families of the deceased and the accused has been categorically denied. It has been stated that the two families maintained cordial relations, which fact is evidenced by the findings in the charge sheet dated 7th February 2020. Stoke. 